Many are calling Pav's six-goal haul one of the best performances of his career. Matthew, where do you rate Saturday's effort? Oh, look, it was nice to get on the end of some great work up the, up the field, and um, it's really hard to, to rate them individually, but, yeah, certainly pleased to, to hit them. haven't been able to do that all that often this year, so I was really pleased to, to get on the end of that work up the field. I guess the big disappointment probably is Aaron Sanderland's now missing a, a big amount of football. That must be really tough for the footy club to cope. Yeah, it certainly is. You know, how much we rate Aaron and his importance around the stoppages is going to be disappointing, but it does provide an opportunity for, for John Griffin, who I thought was fantastic on the weekend. Hayden Ballantyne charged with the match review panel. Is he likely to accept the plea? We're still deliberating whether or not Hayden will accept the, the ban. Um, you know, he's talking to a few people, including our club administrators, whether or not it's the right ploy. But, you know, it, he treads a fine line. I've, I've said a few times this year he needs to play his best footy when he is on the edge, and, and there is a very fine line between playing on the edge and being undisciplined. And a bye this week, you, what are you going to do individually and as a team? Well, it's probably the first opportunity since the start of the season that the guys will have an extended period of time away from the footy club. Um, certainly able to, to mentally relax, albeit that the physical preparation will still be there for Essendon come Saturday in two weeks' time. Uh, for me personally, I'm going to actually head up to, to Exmouth with uh, my wife Lauren and, and get a bit of sun after uh, the storms down here. It's probably a good opportunity to go and get a few rays before the second half of the season. Pav sounds good. Matthew Pavlich enjoying his break and the Dockers recharging before a big second half of the season. It's back to you, Mark.